Alright, so before we begin, I just want to apologize if the audio is just a bit weird. I'm trying out a new microphone and I've had to re-record this video like three times. And I'm also sick right now so my voice sounds even more monotone than it actually is. Hooray. <coughs> but with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video anyways. And yeah, that's all I have to say for now so let's get started. So when it comes to the best Bluey character, the question may seem to be a simple one, and therefore very easy to answer. I mean, we all know that deep down inside, the best Bluey character without a doubt is obviously Chattermax. <coughs> but in reality, the answer is obviously very subjective, and can change depending on who you're asking. For instance, most of you already know that my favorite is Bandit, because he is such a fine, perfect, and breathtaking individual. And I'm sure all of us would do anything just to grab him and have a nice conversation over some coffee, because he seems like a really interesting and caring dude. But some of you might disagree, because he's not the only great one. I mean, there's also Chili, Bluey, Bingo, and many, many others. But out of all of them, there's one that sits in the shadows, only appearing during the absolute worst of times. A character so bad, so disliked, and so reviled that she is almost erased from existence, barely seeing the light of day. And that character is of course, the Notorious Judo. But all jokes aside, while Judo has been regarded as one of, if not the worst character out of the entire show, I feel as if she gets overhated a bit too much. And that when you look past her initial CAB, or Crimes Against Bingo, she can actually be a somewhat interesting, and dare I say, kind of understandable character. So one reason I find Judo really fascinating comes from her appearances in the show. Or rather, the severe lack of them. Because overall, I feel like she's in this awkward position where she's not part of the main supporting cast, but she's not really an extra or a one-time character either. And because of that, she doesn't really appear that much at all. I mean, she didn't even go to Bingo's party in Handstand, despite the fact that literally everyone else did. And as I've mentioned before, I don't know if leaving her out was an accident or an intentional choice, but I do think it perfectly describes how neglected she is by basically everyone and everything. And although she has a bio on the official Bluey website, it just describes her as the quote-unquote other neighbor. <laughs> Which, if you think about it, says literally nothing about her actual character. But when we do see her on screen, she doesn't come off as the most likable. I mean, when your most notable role is making Bingo depressed and pressuring her sister to abandon her and cry, then you're probably not going to be the most liked character. And apart from that, Judo just kind of exists. She was a bit mean to Pom Pom at the end of Seesaw, and she played with Bluey a little in Sheepdog, but I think that's mostly it, unless I missed her in the background of a random episode or something. And with that in mind, I can't be surprised by how many people don't really like her, or frankly, even know who she is to begin with. But with that said, I still find Judo fascinating because of the fact that she wasn't necessarily a quote-unquote good or nice character. As some of Bluey's friends can come off as a bit demanding or selfish at times, all of them usually had good intentions or didn't realize what they were doing since, well, they're kids. And although it isn't as obvious, 
I don't personally believe Judo was intentionally trying to hurt others. Take for instance, her notable role in Butterflies. As we previously established, Judo doesn't seem to have that many friends, and the only kid we really see her with is Bluey. And I like to believe that this is so because in the episode Sticky Gecko, it's established that Bluey's mom Chili really appreciates Judo's mom Wendy. And after seeing Judo lonely, I'm sure Chili probably felt bad for her and got Bluey to play with Judo as a way of saying thanks to Wendy. But with that said, I feel like this headcanon works really well for this particular episode because it gives us a reason as to why Judo dislikes Bingo so much. As in Judo's eyes, she probably saw Bingo as a threat to her only friendship and feared that Bingo would compete with her to get Bluey's attention, even if this actually wasn't the case. And I think that this fear of losing her only friend is what caused Judo to act so mean to Bingo in the first place, doing everything she can to push her away and keep Bluey. But of course, she ends up ignoring Bluey anyways, so yeah. Oops. But when Bluey confronts her about it later, Judo does seem to show some sadness over it, and obviously feeling guilty for what she did. Yet when Bingo accuses her of the exact same thing, Judo almost immediately becomes upset instead of sad. And only when Bluey sets the rules that they must play with Bingo, does Judo finally decide to be nice to Bingo, knowing that if she doesn't, she may lose Bluey as a friend. From now on, no one runs away from anyone, okay? Okay. But of course, I think another reason as to why Judo acted the way she did could come from how she was raised. I mean, we honestly don't know too much about her mom until later, which we'll get to, and her dad is just completely absent entirely. But going off of what we do know, my best guess would come from how Wendy herself was portrayed, or at least was. As early on, it was established that Wendy was kind of meant to be a more elegant and uptight individual compared to the healers. And at least through the first season, Wendy appears to believe that all of the games they play are just kind of ridiculous and below her, which can be seen with her reaction towards Bandit in early episodes such as Work or Copycat. Morning, Wendy. Do you know I like to smack my bum as hard as I can? Ooh, ow, ooh, ooh, ow, Although, to be fair, I think most of us would prefer not to be mooned by our neighbors, so I guess I can't fully blame her for that one. And although she does begin to change her attitude in Season 3, I can kind of see how this would have rubbed off on Judo. And on top of that, it also appears that Judo is an only child in her family meaning that she doesn't have to share her stuff like Bluey. And with this idea, it wouldn't surprise me if this was the reason to why Judo has a tendency to act selfish, either because she wants to protect an important interest, such as her only friendship, or simply because she doesn't realize the consequences of her actions due to a lack of interaction. I mean, assuming she has little to no friends, a father who seemingly isn't around, and a mother who is likely busy herself, I can't be too surprised that Judo acted the way she did, considering her circumstances. And although you could technically argue that she's the worst character regardless, I still feel like she gets way more hate than she deserves. Because yeah, she did treat Bingo pretty harshly. I think it's important to remember that she did realize her mistake at the end of the episode, and that she really hasn't done something as bad ever since. And we of course have to remember that she's probably like, what, six or seven years old? So of course she isn't gonna be always nice or perfect. But as if all of this wasn't enough, they actually released a few new episodes a few weeks ago as of writing this. And spoiler warning, but believe it or not, they actually brought back Judo and oh boy, get this. They made an entire episode just about her. I mean, it also has Bluey and Bingo, so not really, but we actually got a Judo episode. This is not a drill, not a test, 
this is actually happening for real life. And although it wasn't the grand, triumphant redemption we were all expecting, her and Wendy were actually pretty good characters in this episode, as it's established that although she can be quite vain, Wendy does in fact care about Judo, and if anything, actually puts her care above her own. Is it as beautiful as yours? Even more beautiful. Perhaps I treated you too harshly. <laughs> But as the episode goes on, Judo begins to feel left out, since her long fur prevents her from playing in the dirt with Bluey and Bingo, which I like to believe is the most not-Wendy-approved game of, like, all time. Yet surprisingly, Judo never gets frustrated about it and just tries to make the best of it, even if the results aren't that great. Well, at least you tried, and uh, hey, wait a minute, is that what I think it is? And upon seeing what happened, Wendy, now being more kind and understanding than ever, decides that she's basically had enough of this long hair, and just straight up cuts her and Judo's hair, which gives us the most cursed depiction of the two yet. But hey, at least they're having fun, and I mean, that's all that matters, right? And I think that this episode officially marks a real turning point in Judo and Wendy, being an era in which Judo goes from being rude and ignorant to kind and understanding, and revealing that while she can seem a little bit grumpy on the outside, Wendy is actually a relatively kind character and mainly cares about what's best for her daughter Judo. And not to mention that in another episode, Ragdoll, she even buys treats for Bluey and Bingo, which is something she never had to do, but did anyways to make them happy. And all of this despite her past annoyance with Bandit. What an absolute chat. And with that, the only character I can really say is technically worse is maybe Chattermax or something, but he really doesn't play a major role and... I'm not even sure if Chattermax counts as a character, so yeah, I'm not sure. And overall, I'm really curious to see where these characters go from here, as I feel like making them nicer makes them a lot more enjoyable, but also takes them away from their original roles and, dare I say, kind of makes them blend in with everyone else. I mean, at the speed she's going, I'm kind of worried the two might get whiplash from how suddenly nice they've become. And I used to think that Wendy making lasagnas for chili, as mentioned in Sticky Gecko, had to have been made up, because I could never imagine her being nice enough to do something like that in seasons 1 or 2. But now that we've seen more of her, yeah, I can totally see her doing that. It makes complete sense now. But regardless, I do hope they appear in more episodes anyways. And I'd be lying if I said that I didn't get excited whenever they appeared in an episode, whether they act nice or, uh, not so nice. And I do hope we get to see what happened to Judo's father, although that probably won't be for a while. I mean, there is a reason this show's called Bluey, not Judo. But with that said, I'd love to hear your opinions on Judo and Wendy. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below, and until next time, BMB Productions will be signing out. Have a great day everyone, and I'll see you real soon. Bye everyone.